Ever wondered how KFC became a global fast food giant? Well, let's take a step back in time to the humble beginnings of this world-renowned chain. Our story begins with a man named Harlan David Sanders, the charismatic founder of KFC. Born in 1890, Sanders was no stranger to hardship. Despite the odds, he had a spirit that was as fiery as his signature chicken. He was a man of many jobs, a fireman, a tire salesman, even a ferry boat operator. But it was in the world of food that Sanders found his true calling. In the year 1930, Sanders ran a service station in North Corbin, Kentucky. There he began cooking for weary travelers who stopped by his station. His meals, simple yet hearty, were well loved. Sanders knew he was onto something. He decided to focus on perfecting one dish, fried chicken. In the late 30s, after many trials and errors, Sanders finally discovered his secret recipe, a unique blend of 11 herbs and spices that gave his chicken a taste like no other. It was in 1939 that this legendary recipe was born, a recipe so secret that to this day it is locked away in a safe in Louisville, Kentucky. With this secret recipe, Sanders transformed his service station into a restaurant, the first ever Kentucky Fried Chicken. The restaurant was nothing fancy, just a humble roadside eatery. But the chicken, oh, the chicken was something else. It was crispy, it was juicy, it was a taste revelation. People came from far and wide to try Sanders' fried chicken. Word spread and so did the popularity of his restaurant. It was the beginning of something big, something that would change the fast food landscape forever. And thus, KFC was born not yet a giant, but with a recipe that would conquer taste buds worldwide. The journey of KFC, from a small roadside restaurant to a fast food colossus, is a story of perseverance, passion, and of course, finger-licking good chicken. So how did KFC spread its wings from a small roadside restaurant to a global fast food chain? Well, the answer lies in a clever business model and a man named Pete Harmon. In 1952, Colonel Sanders, the founder of KFC, introduced a franchise model that would revolutionize the fast food industry. But what exactly is a franchise model? Put simply, it's a method of doing business where a franchisee pays an initial fee and ongoing royalties to a franchisor. In return, the franchisee gains the use of a trademark, ongoing support from the franchisor, and the right to use the franchisor's system of doing business and selling its products or services. Now, back to our story. Harmon, a restaurateur from Salt Lake City, Utah, became the first KFC franchisee. Sanders had met Harmon years before and was impressed by his business acumen. The two struck a deal, and Harmon's restaurant started selling the now famous Kentucky Fried Chicken. This was a turning point for KFC's expansion. With the franchise model, KFC could grow exponentially without the need for a large capital outlay. Sanders provided the recipe and the brand, while franchisees like Harmon provided the capital and local business know-how. The Salt Lake City franchise was a success, proving the viability of Sanders' model. Word quickly spread about the delicious, finger-licking good chicken, and more and more entrepreneurs wanted a piece of the action. Franchises started popping up all over the United States. The franchise model was not just a brilliant business strategy, it was a game-changer. It allowed KFC to spread its wings and fly high in the fast food industry, reaching places far beyond Sanders' original roadside restaurant. And so, with a franchise model in place, KFC was set to take flight. As we'll see in the next chapter of our story, those wings would carry KFC not just across the United States, but around the world. With a franchise model in place, KFC was set to take flight. But how did KFC manage to cross borders and oceans? With a recipe as finger-licking good as theirs, it's no surprise that KFC's reach extended beyond the confines of Kentucky. Their first voyage into international waters began in 1955, with the opening of an outlet in Canada. This marked the first bold step towards becoming a global fast food giant. Now, one might wonder, how did a humble chicken joint manage such a feat? Well, the answer lies in a pivotal moment in KFC's history. In 1964, KFC was sold to Hoiblin Inc., a company renowned for its knack in the food and beverage industry. This acquisition provided the necessary impetus for KFC's global expansion. Hublin Inc. was instrumental in amplifying KFC's presence on the global stage. 
they accelerated the pace of KFC's international expansion, opening more and more outlets in diverse corners of the world. The golden glow of KFC's signboard began to light up not just American highways, but streets in Europe, Africa, Asia and Australia as well. From the vibrant streets of Tokyo, to the bustling cities of Johannesburg, from the sunny beaches of Sydney, to the romantic lanes of Paris, KFC left no stone unturned. Its signature fried chicken, coleslaw and biscuits started making their way into the hearts and homes of people across continents. With each new opening, KFC adapted to the tastes and preferences of its new customers, adding a dash of local flavor to its world-renowned recipe. This cultural sensitivity, coupled with its commitment to serving high-quality, delicious food, won the brand millions of loyal customers internationally. In the span of just a few decades, KFC had transformed from a small roadside restaurant in Kentucky to a global fast food behemoth, with thousands of outlets spread across the globe. The journey was not without its challenges, but KFC's commitment to its original recipe and dedication to quality helped it overcome any hurdle. KFC had now truly become a global fast food giant. Once a humble chicken joint, it now stood tall as a symbol of success. Its red and white striped bucket, a beacon of deliciousness recognized and loved worldwide. What makes KFC so irresistible to millions of people worldwide? We've all asked ourselves this question at least once, and the answer lies in one of the most closely guarded secrets in the culinary world. Yes, we're talking about the infamous secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Colonel Sanders, the founder of KFC, was never shy about his unique blend, but the specifics have been a closely guarded secret since its inception. The recipe, handwritten by Sanders himself, is locked away in a high-tech vault in Kentucky, making it one of the most exclusive recipes in the world. Imagine that, a secret so delicious it needs its own vault. The tantalizing blend of 11 herbs and spices is more than just a mixture. It's a symphony of flavors that has captured the taste buds of millions. Each herb and spice is carefully selected and balanced to create the signature taste that we all know and love. From the gentle heat of the pepper to the aromatic notes of the thyme, each ingredient in the secret recipe plays its own unique role. It's this harmony of flavors that makes every bite of KFC chicken so satisfying. And it's not just about the taste. The secret recipe also plays a crucial role in creating that irresistible golden crust that KFC is famous for. It's this combination of taste and texture that has made KFC a global phenomenon. The secret recipe is more than just a list of ingredients. It's a symbol of KFC's commitment to quality and consistency. Regardless of where you are in the world, you can expect the same delicious taste in every piece of KFC chicken. It's this consistency driven by the secret recipe that has played a significant role in KFC's global success. It's not just about selling chicken, it's about delivering a taste experience that is uniquely KFC. So the next time you're savoring a piece of KFC chicken, remember that you're not just enjoying a meal. You're participating in a global culinary tradition that has been enjoyed by millions. It's no secret that the secret recipe played a huge part in KFC's success. So where does KFC stand today? Fast forward to the present day and KFC has firmly established its place on the global stage. With a staggering 24,000 outlets scattered across more than 145 countries, it's fair to say that KFC has left an indelible mark on the world of fast food. And it's not just about the numbers, it's about the impact too. KFC has brought people together, made mealtime special, and created memories that last a lifetime. But what's truly fascinating is the diversity you'll find in KFC menus around the world. In Japan, you'll find a Christmas tradition revolving around KFC's fried chicken. Head over to South Korea and you'll be treated to the Zinger Double Down King, a meaty sandwich with chicken fillets replacing the traditional bread buns. In India, you'll find a spicy twist to the classic recipe with the hot and crispy chicken. And let's not forget the chizza in the Philippines, a pizza with a fried chicken crust. It's a testament to KFC's adaptability and understanding of local tastes. In the midst of this widespread success, KFC hasn't lost sight of what made it special in the first place. The iconic blend of 11 herbs and spices is still at the heart of its recipes, and the commitment to quality remains unwavering. 
Every piece of chicken is hand-breaded and freshly prepared in each restaurant's kitchen, ensuring that delightful crunch and succulent taste that KFC fans have come to love and expect. And it's not just about the chicken. KFC continues to innovate, introducing new menu items and experiences that keep customers coming back for more. From plant-based options to unique collaborations, KFC is always cooking up something exciting. From a small roadside restaurant to a global giant, KFC has truly come a long way. Its journey is a testament to the power of a simple idea, a secret recipe, and a relentless commitment to quality. And as we look towards the future, it's clear that KFC is far from done. There are still many more meals to share, smiles to bring, and stories to tell.